Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about fighting Hela in The Living Death Who Walks, which is the current monthly event quest, and this is Uncollected Difficulty. So this Hela, in addition to all of the abilities she has naturally, has these active buffs on this node. And if you look back, you also have Mystic Ward, but these last three here, uh, namely the first and the last one, are the ones that I want to talk about. So Death's Embrace, at the start of the fight, she's going to be unstoppable. Now, it also says that she gains a Fury. Okay, so right when the fight starts, she gains a Fury, and every 30 seconds, she's going to go unstoppable again. All right. Then it tells you that upon activating a fury, she becomes unstoppable for five seconds. All right. More on that later. Now, look at the rage. Now, you might be familiar with rage, but basically when you do more than 2.5% of max health and damage, then she gains a fury. So, if you read just Death's Embrace and you saw that she started off with a Fury and Unstoppable, but you fought her and saw her going Unstoppable a lot, that's why. Rage. Every time you go over that damage cap, she gains a Fury, and thanks to Death's Embrace, that means she's going to go Unstoppable for five seconds. Then, if that's not bad enough, when you get five, when she gets five, Fury buffs, and remember she starts with one, then all her attacks are going to become unblockable. Now, normally, Voodoo would rinse Rage. If you watched a video that I put out uh, recently, you see how well Voodoo does on the Rage path, but that Mystic Ward means that he has a 95% chance to fail, but we're going to test that out, okay? So, these are the buffs that you're going to have to deal with. Now, we're going to go ahead and show you a particular fight. One counter that I think is really good is Blade. You'll notice that I brought in Ghost Rider. That gives him the villain synergy so that he gets danger sense against her. Now, I messed up right there. Okay, but the way that you want to fight with Blade is to just parry her. You see how Blade uh, gets a bleed on his parry? She's not bleed immune. So you can basically parry her to death. Notice every time I'm hitting her, she's getting a fury. I'm not supposed to do that, but sometimes that muscle memory kicks in and I start lashing out. But all you need to do with Blade, and even a four-star Blade can work, is parry her to death okay now you might ask a question about my masteries I do not have maxed out deep wounds but I am running suicide and I have two points in deep wounds okay so here I am in the corner and I was getting a little nervous there okay and so here I hit her one more time and not only did she go unstoppable but now she's unblockable and I have no way to get that uh, away from her so now I'm just going to start hitting into her block because I don't want to deal with her unblockable. And that's how we end the fight. And the next fight, you're going to see, I actually do go in here with Dr. Voodoo. And you're going to see how he does. Now, because of the Mystic Ward, I wouldn't necessarily recommend going in there with Dr. Voodoo. But I just wanted to showcase him anyway. Now... Fighting with him against Hela is very tricky. So you see that I parry and just do a single swipe. Now, Dr. Voodoo doesn't do a lot of damage initially. So he's not causing her to stack those Furies up. So what I want to do here is I want to get that L1 off, but I have to be careful. Because if I do it at the wrong time and RNG is not with me, she's going to go unstoppable. Okay, see right there? But she was stunned, she came out and started hitting. But fortunately, we survived it, but that's the kind of thing that you have to deal with 
if you're fighting with Dr. Voodoo especially, and you want to try to get that L1 off. But with anyone that's going to do that kind of damage, you run that risk of her going unstoppable right in the middle. So like right here, she went unstoppable, but only at the end. So we're good at this point. We can just keep backing up, backing up, letting that poison do its thing. Okay, she's un un indestructible, but it doesn't matter because the poison is going to last long enough to take her down. Okay, so Dr. Voodoo actually can work, but he is a little trickier. Now, who are some good counters for this Hella? Well, you already saw Blade, obviously. Dr. Voodoo can work, but I wouldn't recommend him. But if that's all you have, you can do that. Uh, also, Archangel. Now, I didn't bring my Archangel on any of these because I prefer to bring in my rank fives. But Archangel, even at rank four, can kill it. Quake also does a excellent job. I don't like her playstyle, but she works very well. And here's one that you may not have thought about, but Mephisto. Mephisto has that soul imprisonment, so if she cannot gain furies, she's not going to gain that rage and go unblockable. And she's also not going to keep going unstoppable. So Mephisto is also a very good counter. And I know there's others. Uh, Captain America Infinity War, I'm not sure how well he does with that unstoppable. Uh, She-Hulk, um, Spider-Gwen, there are other options for this Hela. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully this helps you out when you have to face this hella. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you guys have a blessed day.